Welcome guys, this is Ola from Stop Me On Channel, continuing Detroit Become Human. Now, the other day I was playing, uh, if you want to check it out, it's on my channel, parts 1 and 2 are already out. I was playing and I think I failed. I killed Marcus, I think I killed him, I didn't actually see him die, but but I saw him, I, I saw a policeman shooting at him, so I can only assume that he's dead. And I've been thinking about it, I've been thinking about my mistakes in that story. I realized that the game's title is uh, Det Detroit Become Human. When I was saving Alice, I didn't obey Todd, but that's because he's an asshole, so I didn't want to obey him. Now, in Marcus's story, my mistake was listening to Carl because I liked Carl, I respected Carl, and when he told me to obey him, I wanted to do that. Accidentally, that resulted in both his and mine uh, death. <laughs> uh, it's on my channel, if you want to check it out, subscribe. Uh, if you like these playthroughs, leave a like, uh, hit that notification bell, and check out the links in the description. For now, let's continue. I hope I don't kill anyone today. I don't want to lose any of uh, these people. So again, November 5th, uh, even though last time I played, I think it was November 6th for some of the, some of these androids. I remember, oh, I think this is Alice and Kara. Uh, I, this might be the bus that we took when we managed to run away. I hope uh, Todd is not following us. Maybe I should have killed him, but I figured androids who killed people are punished. Oh, we are sleeping in a bus. Yeah, because we're exhausted. All right. Is this the driver? In the line. Line? What line? End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Alice, warm. Ah, okay, I have to wake her up. At least she's fine, at least she's um... We have to go. At least she's okay. But where do we go from now? That's the question. What do we do? I'm really, I'm, I'm really worried because... Or well, I've been thinking... They can possibly, um... Todd can possibly report us. Stay here or shelter. Well, I, I picked shelter, but where, where, what, stay here, like in a bus? Of course it's raining, because they will not make it easy. Uh, does water hurt me? Because, I mean, it is gonna be okay. electricity, right? Uh, the android. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Mm. Easier said than done. I don't know where to go. I mean, if Marcus was alive, I'd totally go there, because I think Carl, who's dead, by the way, rest in peace. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. Find shelter for the night. So we're like basically like homeless people right now. Organic uh, coffee. I don't think a, a cafe is a. Oh, there's a motel. Do we? Do we have money? Eastern motel. Why do I have to look around? Examine. You know, I gotta start doing this. Examine. Uncomfortable but safe. How to get in. Ooh, okay. So I haven't been doing this. I've been figuring stuff on my own. Huh. See how I like to challenge myself unnecessarily? Very uncomfortable but discreet. Hmm. Nah, very uncomfortable doesn't sound too good. But discreet sounds very good. It sounds very good. Can't sleep here, ask for help. What is that? Um, what is that? Is that a pharmacy? Uh, drugstore. Hmm. What about that motel? Comfortable, but not discreet. We'll need money. No, I don't want to go there because we'd have to probably use Todd's money. Can't stay here. You know what? I will go for... Uncomfortable, but safe. Check motel, check house, check parking lot. We're uh, in the middle of the road, right? Are there any cars? Look. Hmm. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. 
But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Look at her. How far she's gone. Can cut fence here with a wire cutter. Check parking lot. I'm not going to check the hotel. I hope I can find a wire cutter. <laughs> Although I doubt, like, I doubt it because that's a... Uh, I don't know, you just don't find that stuff lying around. That's a... Uh, oh! What about here? No. Yep. Personally, no shelter here. There's nothing more this way. Huh. Well, at least this is not an open world, because I'll be walking around for hours. Hmm. I don't think I will find a wire cutter, although um, if they suggested this, there is probably one lying around. Like where? What about that place? Wait, don't... Girl, where are you? Don't walk alone. Hello. Why is she leaving me? What are you doing? Hmm. This bus stop is closed for the night. What do you mean a bus stop is closed? It's a bus stop. It's open all the time. Oh, maybe that guy has a wire cutter. But like that would be... What did it say? Watch over Alice. Alright, <laughs> so I do have to watch over her. Alice, you're freezing cold. Hmm. I'm okay, I'm not so cold. Yeah, she's okay. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Um. Why do you trust him so easily? Although he does look... Um, like, I could trust him. That's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Where did he go? What if we jump on that... No? Well... Come on, Alice. That wasn't very useful. Thank you for using Detroit buses. I don't know what to do. Find wire cutter. Okay, so it actually is an incentive, like... What was the thing that he said, like... Check the other side of the town. My mind is sort of set on that wire cutter. I think that would be... Oh! Yeah, I have to remember, like, I don't want to get caught by police or something. Crossing. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. Uh, At least you'll be out of the cold. Find some help. Convince Cashier to help. Oh, I can do that. He looks like someone I could convince. But I have to be... What do you want? Oh. No, actually, he doesn't like me. I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Money? <laughs> a homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look. This is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? I hate people in that game. You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. I didn't actually want to ask for money. I wanna steal? Um, shoplift, find a plan. I don't feel like I wanna steal, like, this is not the... Unless he has a wire cutter, then I would certainly... No, because if we steal, he will, he will catch us and then the police will come and then we will be taken back to Dodd's place. Like, after all, androids are registered to certain people. Oh, oh, I saw tools. Oh no, is there a wire cutter here? Tool for squad fans. Huh. Well, well, well. What to do? Okay, I'll try. I'll try to... No, actually, no. It doesn't feel right. Come on. Can you follow me? We're going. Are you coming? God, this feels like the last of us or something. Just follow me. I just hope there's a wire cutter lying around somewhere. If there's not, if I don't find it, I will come back to that store and I will try to steal one. But 
I, I don't know, maybe I'm paranoid, but I feel like if I did if I do this, they will bring me back to towards. Uh, I don't wanna go there. Oh, what if I talk to these guys? But I think they're um We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Yeah, right, thanks. That was very useful. I can see that the androids stick together. That's good to hear. <laughs> well, uh, I don't like the fact that my only solution at the moment is to go and steal. What if I enter that parking lot? Oh? It did say that it's safe, so as long as we're safe... I'm not pleased with that solution, but... Well, sleep in car, get inside the car, find a wire car... Ah, it's still going on about that wire car, huh? What is that? Is that a wire cutter? Wow! Did you look at that? I actually found one without stealing it. Ah, good for me. So, wait, it did say that I can use it to open that. Cut square fence. Oh, the fence. So, I actually have to go back. I think here. Cut. R1. I like that. But aren't we like... Aren't androids like very strong? Because there are robots, so... Are you alright? Yes, I'm bleeding yes, with... it's just a scratch. Be careful. Bleeding with blue blood, don't mind me. Okay. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Having a look? I don't know, like, if the game find a way in. I hope the game is not taking a piss and, like, telling me that it's a safe place when, in fact, it's not. Because I, I trusted the game, I trusted that, that opinion. Mm. I'm still not certain where I'm going, but... I think to the oh that house. Cool. See I should be stronger, like I'm a robot, goddammit. Look. Or maybe we could climb. It's not the perfect solution, but it is a solution. The doors. Now this will certainly be closed. Hmm. Alice? Oh Alice! Oh no, was I too late? Take Alice inside the house, but where is she? Wait, what are you what? doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Android. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. No. Look. You're dangerous. You have the knife. They did to Ralph. Oh, so he's he's Ralph. He's talking about himself. Reassure. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. I get it, but... He's just so scared the humans will get him again. Well, not the little one. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Stay. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. <laughs> well... Come. Come, come on. Oh, excellent. This way. I just decided to... Ralph has lived here since he ran away. 
Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> well, I decided to spend the night with some freak, goddammit. I'm not certain this is the best idea. He has a knife. I don't know. It's either they're trying to make me believe he's... Oh, I don't feel good about this. Oh, no, no, no. If... You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. Ralph is it's just for one night, Alice. freaking me out. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Big time. I just feel like he could right. stop me. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. A fire? Make bed for Alice, start fire. Find matches, collect wood, find some paper, find blanket. I probably should have st stolen the money. For some reason, I feel like stealing that money and going into the hotel would be more... I don't know, comfortable or less dangerous than staying with that freak. I mean, I understand he's been hurt, but the fact that he's talking about himself... Using third person? That's a bit, uh, weird. I was so certain I would make all the right decisions in that game. But here I am, in a freak's house. Uh, Marcus is dead. Oh. Oh no no, what? Look at that. He's one of these people, RA9, I'm alive, doing the same stuff that, that the other guy was doing, that Connor was investigating and interrogating. I'll talk to him because I really want to believe that he's a nice person, but <laughs> let me tell you, I'm not certain. RA9. What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. I don't know. He will stab me, right? You know, you could use a pencil instead of a knife. That would be more um, reassuring. Oh, that's it. That was the entire conversation. Yeah, right. Uh... Well, the fact that there are these RA9 symbols is a bit reassuring because... Matches. Are we in the kitchen? So matches should be somewhere around here. I just don't see them. Yeah, the fact that I can see that RA9 symbol is a bit reassuring. Like, it feels like I was meant to come... Oh, it feels like I was meant to come in here. After all, to see this. So maybe he will not kill me because that knowledge wouldn't be exactly useful if if I was dead. <laughs> maybe Ralph doesn't like fire. Like, did you see his face? If he got burned, he will be pissed. Oh, well, uh, I think I should make bed for yeah, find blanket. That's no problem, such a cozy place. I'm sure there's a closet filled with blankets somewhere out there. Oh, there are actually stairs. I don't know if I should go there and leave uh, Alice. Oh, I can't even. Can I go there? Probably should have taken her with me. Maybe there is a blanket around here. Come on, I can see blankets, just... But, like, there's no interactions here, or... Oh, 
Oh, that's a blanket, or what is it? Yeah, that's a blanket. Fireplace, bed near the fireplace. Yeah, I can do that. I just want to survive the night. I think we need some food as well, but I guess we you can... You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. You know what, we can't scavenge like that forever, like, we're gonna have to do something eventually, like, find a more permanent solution. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Oh, I... I promise. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Forever. Very sad, especially because I'm fairly certain that's not true. You've got to sleep. Oh, I can kiss her. Sleep tight, Alice. Be for space, lie with Alice, or well, lie with her. Music is so beautiful in that game. I hope she'll be okay with me doing that. I think she will be. There was a time where she needed space, but this is not the time. Probably best scene so far. Look at that, so many outcomes. Alice and Kara stayed in the squad. We're okay. We're okay for now, we survived. So here's one thing I've been thinking about. What if, uh, what happens if a person, an android, dies? Like, for example, I think Marcus died, so I won't get to play as him anymore, right? What if I kill all of them in like first scenes that I don't get to play at all? I have to start over? I lost Marcus, so now I only have Kara and Connor, unless we are presented with another story, like, let's, let's see. See, it's November 6th again, like, it's a, it's the next day. Is that a body? What is that? Is that a, is that a corpse? Reboot? What am I supposed to? Am I Marcus? Yes, Mark is still alive. He's alive. I'm so happy because I liked him so much. Too bad that cow is dead though. Yeah. Bad for him. So I will have to probably look for stuff. Right? To. Corrupted mind powers. I feel kind of guilty. It's my fault. My fault, I didn't understand the concept of the game. Corrupted audio data, so I can't really hear. I, I will definitely need to look for... I wonder what where the bullet hit. Because it was a bullet, right? Probably my head. Uh, there's one. Low power mode. Or like a battery or something, do I have to recharge? Yeah, I, I can do it. Um, these bus stops, they have that option. 
Oh, that's uh, that was far. What is that? Left and right leg components missing. Oh, so I don't have legs. So I'm sort of disabled, like a car was, right? That's an irony. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Well, at least he's alive, so you can't exactly kill them. Like, if you kill them, you have to sort of do this, crawl or something. So now our purpose is, what, revenge or something? Find that son or like prove our innocence. I hope I managed to fix myself up. Okay, I'm getting better at this, I think. Take, what, take my leg, yeah. I will take that, I might need that. Yeah, I think this is what my friend Frost said. I, your moves have to be like short and strong, kind of. Yeah, sure, I can crawl, but I refuse to change the difficulty level. I'm too ambitious to do that. <laughs> you know, I'm kidding. But it's like, I kind of feel like there's no point to that story anymore, because Kyle is dead, so... I mean, what? What is that? Is that another one like me? Functional. Compatible. Excellent. So I can take that. I think to need, I need to find, like, some... Oh, no, that's not... <laughs> I need to fix my ears because that music is sort of annoying me, but at least I have legs. Oh, it's taking a long time. That android over there. Escape junkyard. What, so we're not looking for any audio systems or anything? This is creepy. What, is this like a... There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! Find Jericho! Yeah, I'm on my way to do that because you definitely look like a person I can trust. Jericho. Is Jericho. Uh, this is not the way, right? Is Jericho uh, is the same person as. RA9. This is so creepy. Ugh, that's so creepy. Ugh, ugh. That's disgusting. Where are you going? This is a. Uh, not too pleased with that situation we found ourselves in. Ugh. Place damaged parts, find optical unit, pump regulator and audio processor. Yeah, sure, that's uh, no problem. See, I can analyze it. Oh, <laughs> not. And I can't really see, but okay. Look. At least I still have eyes. Incompatible, but functional. That's like halfway there, huh? <laughs> Examine, okay. Compatible and functional, okay. Ah, uh, spare. I hope I don't die because of that. I mean, I can find one that that's less likable, I guess. No! Oh, that was an accident! S uh, uh, yeah, spare. <laughs> Thank you. 
that would have been horrible. Like, yeah, I will spare you and then just, you know, grab that. Walk away. No, I mean, I, I, I just hit the wrong button. <laughs> but I can be back if I don't find anything better. Examine. Place. I, uh, that's that's not good. Pretty much useless. Functional but incompatible. Whoa, my mercy! Wasn't exactly timed. Well. probably should have taken that thing I mean she's pretty much gone anyway but I think like I gotta treat them with at least some dignity or something right so I don't think I, I found anything yet like I didn't find anything check okay okay so there it is I don't care if you're alive hello I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? My program has detected an anomaly. Right. Please contact the nearest satellite maintenance center. At least we have that. See, now we can now we can actually properly see how terrible of a place that is. Would you look at that, that game is giving me all sorts of emotion, like... I was just crying over Kara, oh at least I can scan now. Oh, oh, this... What is that? I think we've already checked that one. What about that one? Oh, functional and compatible. But isn't this the, that woman that we actually promised not to steal from? So that would be um, unfortunate. Oh, there's one. Compatible and functional. Okay, at least we'll get to here. Gotta go and grab that. You know, the least they could do, I mean humans, people, is to actually like turn these androids off before they leave them in the junkyard because that's uh they're just crawling around Ugh. there you go you have years now at least you're alive It didn't actually work, but here we are. Are those legs? That's just creepy, 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 creepy junkyard. Ugh. Removing my own heart or what? What am I doing? Inserting stuff. Oh, I'm stabilized now, but I still don't have that Ethereum thing, the one that I decided to actually not take from a lady. Climb the slope. Okay, that's done. So I didn't need that actually. Now I gotta climb. Is this a... Uh, is this meant to be a challenge? It is, obviously. It's meant to be a challenge. So we're crawling now, but like... Oh. <laughs> okay, I see what they mean. Yep. Slowly re learning how to use these 
Jeez. Oh no. Well, I, I got it. Come on. I did get it, so yeah. Don't tell me otherwise, because I saw it. It was blue. Is Carl dead? Did it actually say that he died? Or did it say that he only had a heart attack? Because now I'm confused. I was so focused on Marcus's death. But now I feel like I'm sort of in denial. Fairly certain Carl actually died. Oh, look at him. Like a brand new person. Like, Kind of looks like a Shawshank Redemption scene. And that shower, I mean rain, <laughs> at least it's cleaning me. What's that? I think this is uh, something that rip off. Okay. What am I ripping? Oh. I think we want to be free, like that we're not a... We're a person now, so maybe obeying Carl wasn't the worst thing that I did in that game, I guess. Get up. Look at that, he's fully determined. My name is Marcus. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's badass. Yep, that was quite badass if you ask me. From the dead. See, Marcus came back from the dead. I wonder like if I kill Kara or Connor. I think Connor cannot really die. Like I didn't actually get a... No, he... Yeah, there was a possibility in the first scene. So Marcus came back from the dead. Excellent. So we're not actually killing them off. They are coming back. Which is awesome. But I'm just wondering if Carl is still alive? I'm not certain. I hope he is, but unfortunately I think he died. So what's the purpose of Marcus now? At least he's a, he's a person now, right? He ripped off the thing. Uh, so now you cannot actually see the triangle. He took that coat, so he'll probably look badass in that. I think the purpose of that game is to actually find RA9 and that Jericho guy, if he even exists. I don't know, but it seems like it might happen. I was also thinking about that menu lady. I think at some point we will get to meet her. Mark my words. I hope you enjoyed that playthrough. There are other parts on my channel and other gaming videos, so make sure to check it out, subscribe and leave a like button if you enjoyed that gameplay. I know I did. Thank you for watching. This was Olaf from Stop Me Old channel. Bye guys.